Holy Week in America. Let's find out what happened. President Biden's first State of the Union speech was this week, and it was one hour long. But the first 15 minutes was just him trying to get up the Capitol steps. <laughs> Let's hit a hip, hop, a hip, 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 hip. I'm so sorry. Yeah. This, this will forever remain the funniest it's... shit I've ever seen in my life. Instantly <sighs> picks me up. I know. I was. I wasn't having a, a perfect day until I saw that. Yeah. Now. That's right. Biden's State of the Union was one hour long, and this is weird. Brett Kavanaugh cried the whole time. <laughs> you remember that? Uh, a hate woman. Uh, <laughs> every woman should have a beer. Uh, a, be a beer, baby. Uh. <laughs> I don't like that guy. <laughs> According to a new poll, 6% of Americans think the pandemic is completely under control, and all of them are at Dave and Buster's right now. Just, just pandemic. fun. Pandemic of shorts right there. It was in that picture. Damn it. <laughs> pandemic of shorts. He doubled down on it. A pandemic. Of <laughs> shorts. What does it mean? I don't care you if you got... wear a mask or not, but don't be wearing shorts. <laughs> but real talk, I love Dave and Buster's, and if you think you saw me there, you did. The United States recently lifted a week-long ban on importing avocados from Mexico. And I gotta say, I'm ecstatic. Oh, are you a big avocado fan, Amber? Huge avocado fan. So that week-long ban was really frustrating. I bet you're glad they lifted it then. Big time. In fact, I was so excited. I went to the store the moment the ban was lifted and I bought the very first crate of avocados right off the truck. Wait, you bought an entire crate of one-week-old avocados? You know those have a pretty short shelf life, right? I'm sure they're fine. And I bought enough for everyone. Here, catch. Sorry, Wally. I guess that was a little overripe. It's okay. I walked right into that one. Get out. On. The makers of Coors Light announced this week that they will stop using plastic rings on their six packs of beer, which is a bummer because that was by far the tastiest part. <laughs> According to CNN, American tweens and teens are embracing they, them pronouns. So if you're wondering what the next argument at your family dinner will be about, it'll be about they, them. President Biden held a celebration at the White House on Monday to mark Black History Month. When asked why so late in the month, he replied, I'm on CPT. <laughs> oh. I mean, I said a it's a joke. Uh, it did a hit. <laughs> we don't have footage of him being late to something and saying, I'm on CPT, but you, you know he hear did. It. And, he, and he says it like, <laughs> <laughs> he <ends it> with a... <laughs> he's fine, he's fine, he'll yeah. do. And finally, <laughs> astronomers recently confirmed the existence of a planet with two suns. Said the inhabitants, don't come here, it's too hot! <laughs> <laughs> and that was the monologue. <laughs> Did you guys like it? President Biden on Tuesday delivered his first State of the Union address. 
there were lots of high points and two extremely low points. While Biden was talking about the death of his son, Bo, Republican Congresswoman Lauren Boebert heckled him from the back of the room. And shortly after that, Boebert and Republican Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene started chanting, build the wall. But despite all the heckling from these two insane women, the president ended up giving a solid speech. Solid speech? The only thing solid about Biden are his stools. And even they thought his speech was crap. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Marjorie Taylor Greene and Lauren Boebert, are you here to heckle me? Looks like you're heckling yourself with that haircut. <laughs> guys, guys, I have a comedy show to do. A comedy show? I thought this was a funeral. I wish it was mine. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you guys even here if you hate the show so much? We don't hate hate anything. That's right. We hate everything. <laughs> okay, you know what? You guys are being really disruptive. If you're going to stay, can you at least keep it down? Keep it down? I can't keep it down. I'm going to spew. Aim for my eyes and put me out of my misery. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, you guys, I, I think I'm done talking to the both of you. Bill the wall. Bill the Build the wall? Where? Between me and you, so I don't have to watch this show anymore. Hey, Marjorie, what's the difference between this audience and that white stuff that falls from the sky? Well, I don't know. <laughs> Nothing. They're all a bunch of snowflakes. Derek, <laughs> <laughs> help out. Ladies, please stop interrupting the show. Wait, what? You don't have any insults for Derek? No, we don't. Why? Because he's hot. <laughs> And that's enough? You know what, you guys are both the worst. Wait, what are you doing? We're turning our backs, cause we don't wanna look at you. Oh. Hey Marjorie, what's the only thing worse than looking at Amber? What? Looking at that audience. Oh. <laughs> that is it. You can insult me, but you cannot insult my audience. Get out of here. Fine with me, these tickets were free. And they still cost too much. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think they're still laughing, Karen. They're still laughing. I think they're still laughing. They're still laughing. Lauren Boebert and Marjorie Taylor Greene, everybody. Don't, don't wave like that. One of those nails is gonna take out an eye. In other news, astronomers have discovered two supermassive black holes that are on their way towards a collision with each other that will rock the very fabric of space and time. And to that I say, no thank you. I don't want anything to do with this piece of news. Yeah, I don't want to think about that at all. You see, some news gives me the blues. Some news makes me feel pissed. But some news is just so bad, baby. I pretend it doesn't exist. I can't get sucked through a hole in the fabric of space and time and end up back in the 80s? Jerry Curl juice stains your clothes. No, 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 no thank you. No. That just doesn't exist. Some news makes me feel joy. Some news fills me with bliss. But some news is just so bad, baby. I pretend it doesn't exist like this. A New York man went to the hospital recently complaining of difficulty breathing and doctors found a tooth growing inside his nose. Absolutely not, no, no. Worrying about getting cavities inside your nose teeth? How am I supposed to get a toothbrush up there? No, I'm gonna pretend like that news story doesn't exist. Is that an exactly healthy approach? No, nothing I've ever done has ever been healthy, Terry Davis! That just doesn't exist. Some news I take to heart. Some news I just dismiss. But some news is just so bad, baby. I pretend it doesn't exist. Like this. A Nova Scotia couple's three-year-old bulldog gave birth to a litter of eight puppies. And one of the puppies came out green. How? Why? Does the Incredible Hulk have a dog we don't know about? What if this dog gets angry? 
Maria, no, 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 no. That just doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. No, baby, it doesn't exist. No, 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 baby, it doesn't exist. That just doesn't exist. <laughs>